Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to be counting and making tally marks. This topic is part of the data area of maths and it's suitable for children who are 8 years and older. For this video you will need a pencil and a razor, some maths paper and two dice. So what are tally marks? Tally marks are a way of showing an amount using lines. And you might use tally marks when recording a score in a game, or maybe to keep track of something that you're doing. Let's have a look at the numbers we can make with tally marks. One of something is represented with a single line. Then we've got two, three, four. The number five is five lines, but we actually lie it down over the other four lines, like that. Here we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which is two fives. We've got 5 and 5 makes our 10. Here we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and again, the fifth lies over the other four. So here we've got 15 and so on. Now tally marks are also really easy to count. Let's count these by skip counting in fives. Here we've got five, ten altogether, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Easy. Now I'd like you to count these by skip counting in fives. Press pause and when you've got them counted, press play again. Well done. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, and finally 24. Easy. Let's do an activity now to practice making tally marks. So I'd like you to take your two dice and roll them on the table where you're working. So here we've got the number four and the number three. We're gonna take number four and number three and we're going to multiply them. So four multiplied by three is equal to 12. I would like you to take your pencil now and make the 12 using tally marks. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. Eleven, twelve. I then like you to put an equal sign in because it's equal to twelve. Great. I'd like you to do that two more times now by rolling the dice and then multiplying the two numbers together. You can use this multiplication square to help you. By the way, if you don't have any dice, try making the numbers 18 and 25. Press pause and get that done and when you're finished, press play again. And here are the tally marks for 18 and 25. I hope you got on successfully with your own. Great work! You successfully learned how to use tally marks to represent amounts. See you next time! Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and click the notification bell.